what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more black sales season three episode six is here today hopefully this is my final reaction <laughs> of for black sales today man um i'm gonna try to knock out a couple of episodes of sons of anarchy um but if this show is still going good and i've you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it. I'm going to keep going watching the episodes. This is my fourth episode of the day. And I'm enjoying this show so much. I mean, season three, and I still want to binge watch? Come on now. You got to be... Your show got to be good, good for me. to, Because usually I don't binge watch stuff I'm not really... If the episodes are, you know, not paced well and stuff like that, I will not sit down and watch four episodes in a row. And I think... Um, I think right now, yeah, you know, all the shows that I'm really enjoying, Slam Dunk, Monster, all of them that I'm enjoying right now is the ones that I'm doing multiple, multiple episodes for, um, and trying to get stuff out on early reactions, all early access also. So, Flint has convinced the queen to fight together to go get you know everybody that doesn't like England to go and fight and take back NASA so it's gonna be good I don't see anything else happening short of a war right now because I don't think they're gonna get back the rest of that you know the gold equivalent or whatever those pearls or whatever I don't think they're gonna get that back so for for everything that is going on right now um with Anne being at the beach waiting on jack i think jack going back is a terrible idea because i think they're going to probably kill him or ask him where to where it is because they know about it and the reason why they know about it is because of max it's not because of anybody else so i don't know why they think that the spanish would know exactly the amount of money that was stolen you know they want the exact amount back. You know what I mean? So, um, in, in some ways, there's kind of a plot hole there because in creating this circumstance, you kind of, you know, unintentionally create a plot hole in the, in the whole thing because you're like, how do they know how much? Of course... If the goal has been there for lo for so long, you don't think they have traded some of it away? You get what I'm saying? So, how can you still know the exact amount you're supposed to get back? It just kind of doesn't add up there. But I'll give them a pass. You know what I'm saying? I'll give them a pass. Um, unless I miss the line, which I'm pretty sure you guys are probably going to tell me. You know, if I did. You know, because maybe there is something that I missed. So, I don't know. Anyways. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. For all you guys that have been watching on Early Access, I appreciate you guys. For you guys that have been supporting on YouTube, waiting for these episodes to come out, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome nonetheless. But if you do want to see these episodes early on the channel, just hit the join button for the channel. Or the link is in the description where you can sign up. It's only $2 a month. You get to see four episodes of Black Sales early. They're way ahead on early access, so you guys can see that. Anyway, and all of them is there all at once. They're not given on a daily basis like I put out all of them at once. So you can see all of those episodes before everybody else. So, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Let's go watch the episode. I will see you guys for the review. What's going on, guys? Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to do any more episodes for <laughs> tonight. My ear is itching me. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any more episodes for tonight. I think that was enough. Four episodes is usually my aim. Ah, was a brilliant four episodes. I'll tell you that much. This episode is was very tantalizing. We got Flint versus Blackbeard, a teach finally heard somebody call him blackbeard so that was cool right um so yeah man 
and killing the dude Jack. Ah, oh, man, this is crazy. It worked out to be a good thing, but at the same time, it was a very selfish decision because I know the governor is trying to save his ass as much as anybody else because of this. The Spanish is like, oh, y'all want to spit in our faces, but that ain't the governor's fault. That's the that's the thing. Like, it ain't his fault. You know what I'm saying? They already knew about the, you know, the trade that has been happening between the gold, turning the gold into something, into gems or whatever. They already knew about it. So, the thing about it is, is like, if he accepts it and takes that money and be like, oh, we're going to use this to rebuild, you know, the island and doing stuff and whatever. See, at that moment, he didn't know that there was a, there was a cash of the goal that was missing he didn't know at the time so you can't blame the governor for that this is just news to his ears now where he has to realize that he has to give back all this gold jack comes back and just puts all this stuff into motion and then completely went going against it so um teach versus flint was um a matchup um you know Flint was about to lose, and that's exactly what I expect. Like, if I was writing that scene, that's exactly how I would have written that scene. You get what I'm saying? That's why you hear me saying, I bet they're going to let Vane, you know what I'm saying, stop him from killing Flint or interrupt it to stop the entire thing and be like, you know what I'm saying, let's stop all this fighting and come to a common goal. But none of that happened. You know what I'm saying? It was more of like, Teach was like, man, I'm tired of trying to, to save you, bro. Like, just just, just, just go. Just, just, just go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that was the situation there. Um, so, um, I think the most... I don't know why, but I love the interaction between the, the daughter and Silver back over in Obotutu. <laughs> I don't know why. I th why did I thought of that name? <laughs> How about you too? <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing around. So back where you know um, our people are, you know, chilling and you know hoping that Flint can come through for them and stuff like that. Like I like that relationship dynamic because they're kind of both in the same kind of position. You know, they're kind of like the 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 um the the vice presidents. You know what I'm saying? They're they're in the position of the vice presidents. So. They have to really like know what they're doing just in case something happens to the president. They have to step in. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool, man. Pretty cool out here developing that relationship. You know, Silver wanted to be tough. Ugh, I gotta be tough for the guys. You know what I'm saying? And some of the times that pride thing can come into play a lot with us in, you know what I'm saying, in real life. Also, that's exactly how men think we don't want to look weak in front of our male friends we don't want to look like that um and i think i think a lot of that comes from our pride as men like we won't let go of it because you know we want to always seem tough and and a lot of times that pride can get us into situations that we we have no business being in it's kind of it's kind of like you trying to to um you know you look around and you're and, and you're like what am i supposed to do now you know what i'm saying like you know what am what am i supposed to do how am i supposed to navigate this because now i'm in this position now i'm in this fight because you know what i'm saying i didn't back down because i didn't say chill you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to fight and now you're in a position now you're in this situation now now we're here so what are you going to do now you know what i'm saying so um he, he you many a times we have to let go of that pride so that things happen that things just happen naturally i like when things happen naturally like like for me like you got to take care of yourself no matter what you can't be trying to look tough it's kind of like it's kind of <laughs> kind of like you just there you know you get you get a cut or something happens and it's a big deal and just because a, a girl is there you're gonna act up oh it's nothing meanwhile your hand is falling off <laughs> you know and it happens i mean in your younger years 
stuff like that will happen. I remember when something like that happened, something like serious happened to me. And instead of, because a girl that I like was there, I completely ignored the fact. And then when I got by myself, then I let it all out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I started crying because shit hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But because you want to look cool, you hold it in. You know what I'm saying? You want to look cool. It happens, man. I understand what Silver is going through, but I'm glad that she ignored him and helped him to take care of it because he has to throw that aside. It's like, I can't look weak in front of my men. It's like, I totally get it, dude, but your leg is falling off. You need to get that checked out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, man. Can't wait to watch episode seven or the rest of the season next week. Can't wait. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys once again. Like the video. Comment on the video. You know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. And I'm out. Peace.